back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here and I'm really excited because I'm sharing this gorgeous wig and I haven't ever shared this particular brand. It's Henry Margot. You got it. I am thrilled and look at this beautiful wig. I've been wanting to try Henry Margot and to have this wig be my first impression. Heck, I love it. This is a gorgeous wig and the fibers, first of all, feel fantastic and they look really great too. That was my first impression. Second impression was this lace front. I think that that is a fairly decent lace front, especially for a brunette. Um, Sometimes with brunette colors, it gets quite pluggy up front with many brands. So that was something that stuck out to me as well. Um, I just think that this style is beautiful. The fibers, like I said, the fit is great. This is an average size cap and it feels comfortable. That's another impression that I have. So before I go off on a tangent, let's move forward give you guys the details because I'm getting all over the place here. Um, like I said, Henry Margot and this here wig is Presley. I really like Presley already. I've worn her all day. Sometimes it's nice to be able to wear the wig out and about. Um, obviously it's straight out of the box as of this morning, but I wore her all day. The fibers felt fine at the end of the day, especially um, at the back of the nape. I feel like this wig has a very natural appearance, the way that the style looks. Uh, the density, everything just looks very natural. I really like the look and the style of this particular wig. This color is 814H. Look at that. Before we talk about the special features of Presley, let's talk about the color. 814H. So this color is very rich, um, very natural looking, but when I saw it, I thought, ooh, that is just a beautiful, rich color. Definitely a medium golden brown, if you can see there. And then what you see in here is highlights. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Look how beautiful those highlights are. You can even see those highlights up front. And before I explain these highlights, that's another thing I love and I noticed about this wig is that they placed these little highlights up front on this lace front, which really, really help a lace front look more natural. At least I feel because knots look more natural the lighter they are that's just what i feel and um so this helps i think that it looks really pretty up front as well those little highlights so these blondes that you see here those are like a dark somewhat ashy golden blonde um this isn't extremely ashy uh, in tone, but so there is a little bit of, of gold in there, as you can see. And I would say it's not a very bright blonde, but the contrast is very pretty and it gives this color a lot of dimension. All right, well, I'm going to take this little style out of Presley so you guys can see what she looks like down. But isn't it amazing that you can pull her up off the face with that beautiful lace front? Presley is a beautiful, long, sleek, layered style. You have these face framing layers. Um, they're just gorgeous the way that they frame your face. And the layers are kind of flippy on the bottom. It really just kind of looks like you curled them under with a large curling iron or something like that because most of this style is more sleek and 
it's just, it's so pretty. I really like it. I'm actually going to, at this moment in time, show you guys a full turnaround before I take off the cap. Oh, look how beautiful. I love how this style just wraps around your face kind of and flips out and around. It looks so fresh and uh, sophisticated, kind of sexy looking. It's so pretty. Ooh. I feel just pretty in this wig. It's a really, really pretty wig. Now, I'm going to show you guys the cap construction. So I will take Presley off. You have your lace front. It's pre-cut. And look at that lace front with the lighter blonde up front. Well, actually it's not a lighter blonde, but the lighter shade up front. And then what you have is a left monofilament part. Now, on the side of that monofilament part under this material is a bit of permatease, just right here. It's very slight, there's not a lot. Uh, I had to kind of actually look underneath this hair to find it. Um, let me actually show you guys. Just to kind of give you an idea, there's some people that are very, very funny about permities. So you can kind of see it underneath that right there. But I think that it is nicely done and obviously gives this sleek style just, just enough lift to um, add to the beautiful style, the beautiful look of this wig. The remaining part of this cap is open wefted and you have your velvet nape and your velvet ear tabs with the wire and then you have your adjustable straps. It's very comfortable. It felt great. I'm not sure if you guys can see that very well but there's the parting. Now this is synthetic hair. She's ready to wear out of the box. Just shake and go. I'm actually going to put her back on and we will talk about the lengths and the weight of this wig. So this wig has a wide left mono part and it did come with a zigzag and then I created more of a straight part. Here is the parting if you can see that okay. Okay you guys so the bangs on Presley are 10.25 inches. Your nape is 11.75 inches. Your top is 9 to 13 inches. Your sides are 9 to 12 inches. Your back is 9 to 12 inches. And then overall this wig is 18.5 inches. So with all those varying inches, you can tell that this wig has a lot of beautiful, beautiful layers. This wig is 4.80 ounces. It honestly feels really light. It feels comfortable. I'm pleased with this wig. For my first Henry Margu wig, I went out today running errands and I felt like it looked natural. I felt like it wasn't too bulky. I felt like it wasn't too thin. Um, you know, the wefts were covered. I felt like when the wind was blowing, there wasn't any wig showing, nothing wiggy about it. Um, it just looked so pretty. And then later in the evening, I started playing with this wig. I started doing some creative styling, twisting some hair back. And that's when I know that I really like a wig is if I start playing with it. And so in the evening, I pulled this cute face framing layer that I love back off my face and when I can do that when I feel comfortable doing that because of a decent lace front then that's another plus in my book. 
I think that this would be a really cute wig with a fun braid. It has long enough hair and layers that you could um, put it in a beautiful updo. You could put it in a low updo for that matter. And I just feel like some of those low layering type wigs provide the right type of style for gorgeous updos and um, beautiful styling. Really, look how gorgeous. I could have a blast. But we'll leave that for another day. I just want to thank those at Henry Margu for allowing me to try Presley and share Presley for you guys. And I really hope that this was helpful. Let me know what you think. Comment below. I'll have a link to a reputable store where you can actually find this wig. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.